Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, I want to talk about a Google Gboard feature that will make using S Pen a lot more fun and useful if you have a Note device or any Samsung phone with an S Pen. So let's go ahead and take a look at this feature. Now for this feature, I'm going to be using Google Keep app and you can see that I have Google Gboard installed and set up. Now here, if you have an S Pen, you can simply just pull it out of your phone and start writing in google gboard app and this works in any app where you have a text field you can just open the google gboard app and you get this text field and you can start writing so i'm going to start writing now so here you can see that uh, even though i am writing in my handwriting and my handwriting isn't really that good gboard app is able to identify what i'm writing and it is able to transcribe it into text which is really cool so here you can see that even if i don't get the spellings right while i am writing it will transcribe it with perfect spellings. So it's very good in identifying what you're writing and then translating it into text. Now, how you can turn this feature on? If you have the Gboard app open, simply go in Gboard settings and here you will see this option, write in text fields. Tap on it and from here you can turn this feature on if you have Gboard app installed on your phone. Now here you can also practice it or try it how this works. But below that you have some really important settings so here you can change your handwriting speed your handwriting stroke width you can turn on or off show on screen keyboard so when you're writing whether you want the keyboard there or not i don't want it so i have turned this off because i just want bigger text field to write and then you can also select to have emojis on the toolbar which i'm going to show you in a bit and then the last one is commit handwritten text immediately. So as soon as you write, it will be committed and it will be uh, changed into text. So you can turn these settings on and you can play around with these to see what works uh, perfect for you. Once you have gone through these settings, we go back. Now here, if I remove the keyboard and I write anything, you will see this, uh, you know, taskbar appear and you can move it around and depending on where it is, it will change its shape and position now here you have some very important settings you have emojis here so you can add emojis as you are writing you have this option here so this will help you start a new line then you have your language here you can change that now let me show you some other really cool features of this gboard app and in this uh, writing section if you scribble on any word you can remove it if you want to remove space between two words simply draw a line between the two words and that space will be removed if you want to create a space between two words so just draw a line and it will create a space if you want to split text into a new line all you have to do is draw this l shape here and this will move the rest of the text to a new line and let's say you want to add text between what is already written so if i want to add some text between text and feature I can just draw this and it will open up this text field and then I can write anything here so there you go and then after a while this field will close and you will have a new word between already written text so these are some of the really cool features that you can use while writing with S Pen using Gboard app now one more really cool thing that I've noticed here is that as you continue to write anything it will continue to work in the linear fashion, meaning it will finish one line and then it will move on to the next line. Another thing is that you can write really fast and if you are short of space, you can write on pre-written words. So there you go. Even though I was writing on top of the previously written text, it's still recognized as two different words and committed them into the text field, which is great. Another thing is that if you press this button on the S Pen and draw around the text you can very quickly select the text and then obviously you have all these 
options to do whatever you want to do with that text now i know that this is a lot to remember and these are a lot of features you can always revise them by tapping on this language button here and then go in try handwriting demo and here it will take you step by step to all of these features so here you have the right feature then it will show you how to delete anything you can also draw around a word to select it which i forgot you can insert a word between two words just like i showed you you can join or split the text and you can start a new line so let's uh, try that if i circle a word it can select it if i draw around the whole text it will select the whole text as well so which is even quicker than pressing the button and selecting the text. So these are some of the great features that you can use with S Pen and Google Gboard. Now I know that Samsung Keyboard also gives this feature, but it is not as good as Gboard because the handwriting recognition is far superior here. And there are some other differences as well, which if you wanna know, let me know in the comments and I will make a comparison video between the two. But that's about it from this video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope this was useful for you. I would really appreciate a like on this video. And if you would subscribe to the channel, you will see a lot more videos like this. I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.